Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. When people are arrogant, proud, we say he or she thinks of being God's gift to mankind. In all humility, Father Justin thinks something much greater than that. He develops a way of thinking called the true living image of God. We have said before and we will repeat many times that the starting point of our spirituality is let us make man in our own image and likeness. I am the image and likeness of God. That is, I live in the likeness of God's life. In theology, we have a beautiful word called circumcision. Circumcision is a word cogitated by the fathers of the church to express the circulation of divine life among the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is called circumcision ad indra, internally to the divinity. Now God, who is infinite love, wants to extend this love outside of God himself. And so there is this circumcision ad extra, which means the circulation of divine life between each one of the three persons and I and you and all of us. Now, Father Justin, imagine us as a living portrait of God. So the Father creates me and makes me his portrait. And then he donates this portrait to the Son. The Son, Jesus Christ, receives this portrait that is me, myself, given by the Father. And so he receives it with the respect, veneration, gratitude, and love due to the Father. And so, in addition to receiving me, in me, Jesus receives the heart of the Father, the Father himself. And so Jesus cherishes this portrait of God, embellishes it, enriches it, and again, enwraps it again, and makes of me living image, living portrait of God, a gift to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit receives again this portrait of God with joy, with gratitude, with love. And in this portrait that is myself, the Holy Spirit receives the love of the Father, the love of the Son, and myself naturally. And so the Holy Spirit does his work of sanctification. He perfects this portrait, makes it more beautiful. And as a sign of love and gratitude, he offers this living portrait to God the Father. And so it continues constantly. And in this way, I become the living portrait of God, but also the eternal offering of the Father to the Son, of the Son to the Spirit, of the Spirit to the Father. And each one of the three divine persons sees not only me in that portrait, but they see the, others, the other two divine persons. So the whole trinity that is involved in our creation, redemption, and sanctification is constantly active in perfecting my being. And, and again, there is nothing that God appreciates and loves more than anything else outside of God than his own portrait. His masterpiece is human being. Naturally, if we, see, if we understand this, there may seem a joke of words, a play of words, we see the reality that God 
loves each and every one of us with unique love and with a unique relationship. And so the portrait that I am of God is unique. I'm the only one that represents maybe one atom of the reality of God's creation, of God's beauty, of God's greatness. And without me, God would be missing something outside of himself. And so we understand that God cherishes this portrait, this living image that is my eye, because the three divine persons are present in me, work in me, and they reciprocate, reciprocate the gift of me to each other eternally. And so, again, I am sharing, we are entering, we are joining the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in making true the creating word of God. Let us make man in our own image and likeness. It's an ongoing process, never ends. And the more we are given from one divine person to the other, the more precious we become in the sight, in the eyes, and in the heart of God. And if I understand that of myself, and I understand it of each one of you, then there will be much greater understanding, much more esteem, much more love also amongst us. Because each one of us, again, is a living representation, representation of a unique atom, of unique action, of unique image. Because there are not two of us that are alike. And so each one of us is exclusive, it's unique, and it's perfect image of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.